What's up guys, it's Fred again. Today for our last street skiing tutorial video, we're gonna talk about filming and preparation before hitting a spot. Filming is a big part of street skiing. It's pretty rare that people go out and hit a rail without being filmed. At the same time, you're trying to land something that you're stoked on, so it only makes sense that you want it to be filmed. Unless that one of your friends is already dedicated to filming and owns a camera, you'll most likely have to buy one to take turns to film yourselves when hitting a rail. The first camera setup I had was a Canon T3i with a Rockinon 8mm fisheye. I feel like it's a good camera to start filming, it's pretty easy to use and very reliable. I would almost only use the fisheye with this camera as I feel it's the easiest way to film a rail. With the rockin' on fisheye you put the focus on infinite and everything that's in the frame will be in focus. The only thing you need to worry about is to keep the skier in the frame and stay close to the rail. You can also get a tripod and film long lens with the lens that comes with the camera. Since it might take a while to get the shot sometimes, it's good to have 3 or 4 batteries so you make sure the camera doesn't die before you land your trick. Since the Canon T3i is an older model, you can find a used one starting around 350 bucks. You can always get a newer version like the T7i which new will at least be twice as expensive. You can find batteries that are made by other brands than Canon that will be almost just as good and way cheaper. You can buy a handle to film fisheye which is about 20 bucks. For the Rockin' On 8mm fisheye, a new one is around 300 bucks. It's always a good idea to be prepared as much as possible before hitting a rail so that if something goes wrong, it's not ruining your whole session. Ideally, you want to go check out the rail you're about to hit a couple days before so you know how much snow there is and how much shoveling there is to do. If you didn't have the time to check out the rail before, it's good to have a plan B, so another spot you can go to, in case there's too much shoveling to do and it's not possible to hit the first spot. If the rail is at a school or near a local business or an office, you want to hit it when they're closed, so during the weekend or during weeknights. If you're hitting a spot at night, you'll need a generator with some lights. Or if you're hitting a smaller spot or a spot that has lights around, you can always mount a LED light to your camera. My best advice would be to get to the spot as early as you can. I like to be at the spot around 9 or 10 am so you have plenty of time to shovel, get your shots and pack everything up before the sun goes down. Alright guys, so this is what concludes the How to Ski Street tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you've had any experiences in the streets that might be helpful to others. Also, if you like these tutorials, let us know what other topics we can cover here at New Schoolers. I hope this series helped you out and makes you want to go hit a street spot this winter. Yeah.